Well, hello everybody. At some point in your adventure in plumbing, you are going to encounter a set of plans. Uh, we're going to do a little series here, going to keep it short and quick, uh, on how to read plans. And this will be specifically for the plumbing side of it. There's a lot of things in here that we really don't need. Uh, this is what we used to get, these big giant sets. There's a whole bunch of pages. I think this one has 28 pages. Uh, but there's a lot of stuff we don't need here. So nowadays we get these little short plans. In this little episode, I want to talk about dimensions and walls. So let's take a look. All right, here is a blown up version of our plans, a small section of it. And if you look around, there's all kinds of labels and things. I see a dining room, two car garage, a bedroom, number four. Uh, and then there's all these little lines uh, with numbers on it. And those are your dimensions. Uh, those are your measurements. Some people call them stringers. Uh, and now where a lot of people go wrong is you see measurements are pulled from something to something else. And if you don't understand where, it's, where those dimensions are being pulled from, uh, you can mess up and miss your walls or miss where your fixtures are supposed to go. So let's zoom in and look at this one. You see these little tick marks here? You see how they're not touching each other? Um, there's actually a space there. This big line here, the bold line, represents uh, a 2 by 4 wall. Now, the dining room is open. There's no door there. That's why it turns into a dotted line, but it is still being used or uh, the representation of this measurement. Um, now, this 12 foot 5 inches on the dining room is being pulled to the inside of the dining room. Uh, now, that's a 2 by 4 wall, so a rough end 2 by 4 wall is 3 and a half inches thick. So, on the other side here, we've got 3 foot 5 and a half inches, which is actually being pulled to the outside of the dining room or the inside of that hallway. We wanted to know that full dimension, that little gap there, we'd have to put three and a half inches to get that full length. Now, I want to show you something else up here. I want to zoom in up here uh, and show you this little thing. They gave us a two by six plumbing wall. Now, that's for our plumbing to go upstairs. That's for our drop for our drain line. And if you look at it, it is noticeably thicker than the wall right next to it, which is a two by four wall. Uh, most of the time these are going to be labeled, but it will be different. In residential construction drawings, you're gonna have two by four walls and two by six walls. Now up here, I did wanna show you this. This is a chase. Now a chase is typically for the HVAC guys, uh, but sometimes in a pinch, uh, we might run some plumbing through there as well. Uh, but they normally give us a, a wall to do our stuff in. Now, if you look, here's these tick marks again. This is the inside of the pantry wall. This is the outside of the pantry wall. They're not touching. Uh, so there is a gap of three and a half inches, and they don't label that every time. Uh, now, if you wanted to know the dimension all the way across that bedroom, uh, you have to add three and a half inches, three and a half inches, and I bet it adds up to 11 feet eight and a half inches.